We do a lot of work at the Institute on all aspects of sustainability, but one of the pieces is looking at the historical connections between conflict and water resources. And we maintain a chronology. If you like history, we maintain a chronology that goes back 3,000, 4,000 years with examples of conflict over water. And unfortunately, the earliest examples, three or 4,000 years ago, were in ancient Mesopotamia, the Tigris and the Euphrates River. Today, Turkey, Iraq, and Syria. And again, unfortunately, the most recent examples are, are in the same region. Uh, it's a region where water crosses borders. It's a region where there are uh, tensions over ideology and religion and uh, uh, politics and access to resources. And unfortunately, right now, in the Tigris and the Euphrates Basin, mm. we see the conflicts that have arisen for historical reasons, but we see conflicts where water is at the heart of, uh, 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 water is a tool of conflict, water is a target of conflict, uh, water is a weapon of war. It's, it's another example of our inability really to separate politics and water. And isn't there even uh, some example that, that water uh, played a role in, in Sudan and other areas? It's the Middle East now, but it seems to be a lot of civil wars, even civil wars uh, within countries can be, can be water-related, uh, water Peter Glick. Yeah, I think the way to think about this is not wars over water, but the role that water plays in, in worsening conflicts right. or triggering conflicts or being used as a weapon uh, or a target of war like we see on the Tigris and the Euphrates. But there are other regions in Africa, for example, where pastoralists and farmers are in conflict over control of water, over access to water points. Uh, I think as the world grows, as populations grow, as the economy grows, as demand for water grows, the scarcity of water is more and more likely to lead to conflicts of one kind or another. We see conflicts in the Western US, and hopefully they won't be violent conflicts, but they're political conflicts. And in parts of the world where politics is more difficult, sometimes what we have is violence. Uh, and I think we're gonna see more of that, not less of that.